Continuing with NumPy arrays, it's time we learn about how we can add, remove, and sort elements. In addition to all that, we're also going to learn the concept of reshaping arrays. Now, as always, to get started, we're going to create an array, which will be an np.array. And inside here, we'll pass in 3, 2, 10, 1, and 0. The easiest way to sort an array is by using np.sort. For example, here we will print np.sort and pass in our array. And this will ascend it in ascending order. If you prefer to sort your array in place, you can do so by typing in your array and sort. Now we can just print the array as it is because this sorted it in place. Also, if you hover over sort, you'll notice that there are quite a few arguments that we can use with sort. That's something that we're going to explore later as we learn more about NumPy arrays. Up next, let's talk about how you can concatenate two arrays. In NumPy, if you ever want to concatenate two or more arrays, you can use the np.concatenate method. So in this example, we're going to create two arrays, one called A and one called B. And what we want to do is put those together. So here we're going to type in np concatenate and pass in A and B. Now we need to pass this in as an iterable. So it can be passed in as a tuple or as a list. That's up to you. But now when we run this, what we should end up with is a new array with all the elements concatenated. And you can even add a third one if that's what you want. So we're just going to call this C, pass it here. Obviously it contains duplicates, but that doesn't matter because when we run this, you'll see that it will concatenate it with the other ones. And this method is quite convenient because even if you have several arrays of different dimensions, such as A, which is a matrix, it's still going to be able to carry out that concatenation. As you can see, we end up with a new matrix that has 10 and 20 appended to the end. Moving on, let's talk about reshaping NumPy arrays using the reshape method. And first of all, let's create an array that contains 10 elements. And this time we're going to use a range to generate 10 elements. And when we print this, what we're going to end up with is this array over here. And I'm just going to call it original so we can keep track of it. But now if you ever want to reshape an array, all you have to do is use the reshape method and specify the new dimensions. For example, here we'll have array.reshape and what we will pass in is two by five. So two rows and five columns. And when we run this, you'll see that we will get two rows and five columns. And we can also do that the other way around. We can specify five rows and two columns. And when we run that, we're going to get five rows and two columns. The rule of thumb here is that you must always have the same number of elements in the new array. To make sure your reshaping is logical, you can calculate the product of the reshaping. Right here, we have an array of 10 elements. And here, when we reshape it, we have two by five. And the product of this is 10. And the same thing goes for the second one. Five times two is 10. So that gives us 10 elements in total. So as long as both of these equal 10, it's going to work. But if we were to do something such as two by one, that's going to just give us a total of two, which means we're going to run into an exception. With that in mind, let's create a 3D array using the reshape method. So here we're going to specify 27 elements in our range. So when we run this, we're going to have this array over here, but let's reshape that into a three dimensional array. So here we'll print the array reshape, and we're going to put three by three by three. So three times three is nine times three is 27. So the elements add up, which means this is going to work. So now we can run our script and what we're going to get as an output is this reshaped array. We can also type in one, nine and three. And since the product of these ends up being 27, it will also work. As you can see, we get this as an output. And once again, as long as the total number of elements in the new shape are the same, you can reshape as much as you like. For example, instead of just reshaping here, what we're going to do is refer to the original array or not refer to it, but we're going to overwrite it with the new shape. And right now, if we were to run this, we'd get the exact same output that we had earlier. But let's copy and paste this directly under because even if the array now looks like this, we can still reshape it. We can change it back to three by three by three and this will work just fine because this array from earlier contains 27 elements and so does this one. 
And now we can go right below that and we can also insert 27 if we want to convert this into a one dimensional array. As you can see, it converts it back to what we had at the start. In case for whatever reason, you don't know how many elements you have or you just don't want to type it out, you can also use the minus one shortcut. And this will convert any array into a one dimensional array. 